Welcome, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Gaming spoiler cast for Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm one of your hosts of this spectacular spoiler cast. Elijah, sitting across from me virtually quarantining himself is Alex. Hello. How are you, Alex? Not, or trying to not to be annoyed with these programs and softwares when they don't want to work. We're going to, similarly to The Wizard of Oz, pull the curtain back a little bit. All right, for you guys listening. Discord, for whatever reason, just won't work yeah. on Alex's MacBook. For whatever reason, we want to make up. But it hates us. It yep. wants the achievers to fail. It hates you guys. I don't know. I don't know. Discord should tweet at us and, and give a comment. <laughs> Trying to figure out what is going on. But uh, we gave up and went to probably... Probably if you gave Elijah in about around 2007, 2008, uh, <laughs> the ability to make um, uh, some sort of calling service. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> chat service. This, this thing is 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 a bit much, but I, uh, yeah, it's working. <laughs> yeah, no, it's working. Um, I can only complain so much. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's working, and I'm going to keep yeah, using like said, it until I can figure out why oh, Discord's oh. not working. You guys want to try it? <laughs> what? This is interesting. Oh no! I was just telling the audience it's called Overtone. If oh they yeah, want yeah. To try it. Hey, some um, people might know what it is. So. Hey, yeah, I'm sure someone's like, yeah, Overtone's great, and I'm like, eh, okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's right. Our first time using, it, but it seems to be working great. Anyways, for the real reason we're here, talk about Final Fantasy VII. Of course, a hey, spoiler class. So if you have not beat the game or you don't care about spoilers, you can just sit here and enjoy this spoiler cast. Worry free. Of course, you haven't beaten it and you don't want spoilers. Then click away. Now we begin. Oh, Alex. Hmm? Who the fuck is Seth Roth, and why is he important? D- <laughs> the thing is, <laughs> I don't know. He's a big. He's a a blonde guy with a big ass katana. He's definitely not blonde. White hair. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's I'm hair. thinking of Cloud. Yeah. I'm already screwing. Well, up. he's he's definitely cool. No, like, no I, I like I like Seth Roth. I just hate that they don't fully explain because I don't remember complete. I remember he's like a big, big it's, type soldier guy. Like yeah, he's, it's he's weird because I general. never knew that he was a war hero. I knew that because of Crisis Core. Yeah, see, I never. I played the beginning of Crisis Core, and that was it. Yeah, that's the only reason I knew because of that that game like goes through a lot of time, hmm. and you, you get to know Seth Roth and like, uh, Zach looks up to Seth Roth and wants to be like him. I think interesting um so he wants to be like as strong as my i think it's seth roth or uh i'm pretty sure anyways and he's mentored by this other guy i forget his name though but mm-hmm. he's the original buster soldier owner so uh, zach is not zach. the original owner no he was given it to him by his like mentor guy oh so it just gets passed down yeah and then zach of course passes so it down maybe Cloud let's just get, let's to get to the kids. nuts and bolts of this because we brought up zach let's get to the nut. what happened with that ending do and ladies and gentlemen, if you understand what the ending was, please, please comment. tweet us. <laughs> because <laughs> comment, tweet, whatever. Are we supposed tweet, to know I, the rest of the game? Are we, yeah, do, is do we it need supposed to, to be original? ambiguous? He looks alive, and that's not what happened in the original. But see, game my thing or is, Crisis Core. he's carrying Cloud as Cloud passes through them. So I'd, I'm assuming it's an alternate time, or a past time. So I don't know. Well, see, that's when it gets weird because if. It, it has to be a different reality because mm-hmm. if it's this reality, then that cloud no. Well, no, I guess we don't know if that happened, right? What? We don't know. So we don't know. We don't concrete know what this cloud knows. Yeah, <laughs> I know that's confusing. Yeah, but all they like, gave us a ki- ass- giving us flashbacks. I'm assuming this is the same knowledge cloud has in final fantasy 7 so assuming that then zach is dead Mm -hmm. in his world yeah and he didn't because because cloud finds zach's body okay so there's so so there was no carrying he was dead and was this in crisis core or in seven yeah this is crisis core and i think in a flashback in final fantasy 7 as well because you know about zach in the original game um Uh and for uh a full 
disclosure, me and Alex have never played the original game, so we're going off knowledge of this and Crisis Core. So yep. <laughs> that's, that's it. Um, but pretty sure, not pretty sure. I know Zach dies when he's in that fight. You, you know, with all those people shooting at him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the the scene that they showed wasn't he supposed yeah, to die near the very end of the game. Yeah, he dies. Like he he doesn't kill everybody. Yeah. So when he says, "Oh, I guess that's all of them," like that doesn't happen. Interesting. So I'm assuming that's just them showing like things are changing because they're changing reality. Hmm. Yes. And does that happen in the original game? No. No, none of this happens in the original game. Okay, so they're pretty much making so this game from, a brand new game. Basically, so f- it, from from because be shadows upset. are in the other game either. What? The shadows, whispers. Sorry. Whispers. Oh, the whispers. Whispers, whispers gotcha, gotcha, aren't. Gotcha. Yeah, they're not in the other game, so that's completely new. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, they revolve. They, they, they revolve that are a lot in this game. Yes. Yeah. So that's not that's not in the other game at all. Hmm. So that that's a new, completely new thing. Okay. So it looks like whatever we get next is it's original. Fresh. Yeah, I don't think, and they they did say that the next entry w- won't go, uh, won't be too different, which I don't believe at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I think a, a game director said that. Um, but yeah, I I don't believe that. What what are your thoughts on just? that whole ending it's it's very confusing because my thing is is if it's an alternative reality or it's a like a flashback as they pass by like you can see the earth kind of senses something as they pass by because wasn't she in love with zach that's why cloud reminds her a lot of him Yes, yeah, he's um, in love with Zach in the in the in Crisis Core. He's spent a lot of time with them. Okay, yeah, I never f- played that one much, so I don't know. Um, no, I, I can I can fill in some blanks. Um, but like you can see that they kind of like have a connection. So I'm wondering if it because they went through that portal or once you and then when you go to Singularity, but they never sh- did they ever show them go back through a, like to normal. So like. Could they still be like an alternate Megar? That's a good question. I'm yeah. assuming they're in an alternate Midgar. Okay, because that's what I assume. Because uh, you know that uh, Seth uh, Sephiroth goes in, everybody else goes in. Sephiroth. You go. Yeah, yeah. yeah that bat- that battle was crazy. Uh, they go in to Singularity, which that's what that chapter was called or whatever. Um, but the, you never see them go back. They just what's it called they just finished the fight and they were started walking away on the same cliff where you see zach fighting all those people which i assume was a flashback in the other alternate alternate reality so i so i think it's so like what we saw with zach and cloud like uh it's an alternate reality but he didn't die and he's carrying cloud so that's i don't know I think I think so too. I think that's as close as a guess we can make. Yeah, that makes Jesus, the most sense. That's confused. the Occam Razor's answer to all this. The le- the less assumptions is probably correct. I feel like. Mm. Um, so I I do think that's basically what it is now. To what degree this changes? Because you know you do walk through that uh, area, by the way, and you're on the other side. Yeah. And again, I assume we're just in a different timeline, and we pick up wherever time it is. I, again, yeah. I don't even know what time. It, maybe it's at the very beginning of the game. Maybe, because I mean everything seems what, fine. Um, uh, you you are a little closer to this. What is uh? What was the motivation again behind going through the portal? They know, they know the world will end without going through it, right, or something like that. Oh, God. they see the meteor. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They have to, yeah, okay. they have to defeat. They, they. I think they said that they have to defeat Sephiroth or something because the uh, Tifa and Aerith, or I don't know if all of them, they saw that, um, like a flash of I don't know. It could be the future or alternate reality of the meteor hitting the planet, but I'm sure uh, 
they probably was like, oh, we can't let that happen, so we have to defeat him, or we, and so they <laughs> would have to follow him through the portal. Okay, so I just chuckled because I just I'm reading a snippet from CNET. Okay. Final Fantasy VII remakes confusing ending explained. Okay. And I'm just reading a little bit. I'm gonna read a snippet. Go for it. Because I'm like, what the fuck? All right. The final boss of Seven Remake is Sephiroth. This is a bit of a surprise. In the original, Sephiroth, thought to be dead, makes his return annoying by killing President Shinra and taking Genova's remnants from the labs within Shinra HQ. Mm -hmm. This prompts Cloud and the gang to go out in the world to stop Sephiroth from killing everyone slash everything. <laughs> this still happens more or less in Remake, but then after you escape from Shinra HQ, instead of going out into the world to find Sephiroth, Sephiroth finds you. In the clash that follows, it revealed that if there are alternate timelines, so when we fight, all that was alternate timelines, mm. apparently. The events of the original Final Fantasy VII in which Shethroth was ultimately defeated occurred in an earlier timeline. To explain that, we need to back up to the beginning of the game. <laughs> 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 all right. All right, we're getting to Kingdom Hearts level of fuckery, okay? Yep. If you if you love this shit, I don't want to hear you complain. Do you understand me? Do you understand <laughs> me? <laughs> okay. After the first chapter, in which Cloud and Barrett destroy a Mako reactor, you chance upon Aerith, or as she's lovingly referred to, Flower Peddler. <laughs> Whenever I heard the word peddler, that sounds like something drug-related, so I yeah. just love that just Flower Peddler. Cloud sees a vision of Sethroth, and then after a brief chat with Aerith, the two are surrounded by ghostly creatures that look like Dementors from Harry Potter, which is what me and Alex said yep. <laughs> to each other, I think, yep. after playing it. Uh, these creatures appear throughout the game at seemingly random times, often causing you trouble, but at certain points saving you. Towards the end of the remake, uh, Red 13 escapes Hojo's lab and joins your party. There. He explains that these creatures are called Whispers, perhaps best described as Arbiters of Fate. They are drawn to those who attempt to alter Destiny's course and ensure they do not. In other words, the Shadow Cloaks rock up anytime a remake looks original. Played remake, <clears throat> you may recall such moments. Towards the end of the game, Barrett is impaled by Sethroth. It looks like he's done for until it's revealed a whisper shielded the blow and saved him. Earlier, Professor Hojo, confronted by Cloud and Co., about to explain that Cloud never actually was a soldier, something Cloud is not meant to learn until much later, before he's dragged away by whispers. Very first time we see the whispers, Cloud meets Aerith. They appear to scare Aerith off. She's meant to leave before Shinra uh, arrive, but her cloud just keep bring on. <laughs> so the whispers <laughs> intervene. There's a cool reference to the alternate timelines here too. Cloud lays eyes on Aerith just before the whispers appear, but before he can talk to her, he sees a vision of Sethroth. Too weak to save anyone. Sethroth, after conspicuously putting his hand on Aerith's soldier, tells Cloud uh, some other stuff. I don't want to spoil that, just in case people don't want to know. Yeah. Um, and then is there more to the Jesus? There's like a lot more to this. Uh, actually, no, there's not that much more. I'll do this last snippet and then we can discuss. Okay. So the whispers have to go cool. Well, to get to Sephiroth and remake, you have to first beat the Whisper Harbinger. <laughs> Alex loved that boss fight. That's his favorite boss fight in the entirety of all games. Apparently, is what he told me. Um. The Whisper <laughs> Bahamut. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Tell the audience about that story while I like brief. Oh brief my this god! Week. So, I'm assuming everybody that's listening to this have beaten the game. You gotta, um, and if you haven't beaten the game and you're still listening to this, cool, I guess. Um, <laughs> why? Well, you go to this uh, boss fight. Three individual enemies pop up. Each one, each one has a different color, and they 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 all look different. I'm over here thinking, oh, you know, red is fire, so I'm going to hit blizzard. You know, the opposite. Blue is, bl uh, you know, ice, so I do fire. No, it does nothing. No, it, I'm like, okay, so what am I doing to these? Start fighting them. I get them pressured. They fight, and then they, they start circling around each other. They become one big creature, dragon thing. I'm like, whoa. All right, let me fight this thing. N no, no, I, I couldn't even fight it. Every time I try to hit it, it would destroy me, knock somebody back. I go to heal, it kills me. So I had to change to somebody else to he to Phoenix down myself, because I play as Cloud, of course. Um, um, you Phoenix down, then you gotta use that other uh, T four Aerith to bring your health back up. But as you're trying to do that, the other one person gets hit, he gets re hit. It's just a reverse cycle, and I just 
wind up just dying. And I'm playing on normal. I'm getting so pissed off that I move it to <laughs> easy. And I'm just like, and after I put it on easy, I beat this in one shot. And I didn't, I didn't heal once. My health didn't even Damn. go below half. And I'm oh like, God. why is this such a difference in difficulty? <laughs> I get. I think. I think you could say that easy is too easy. Yeah. Like that's a. Oh my that's God. a callback to a stupid ass Kotaku article that was put out a few weeks ago, like bitching about how easy the easy mode was. But yeah, I I beat the whole game. Or I went through the whole game on normal until that part because I was just so done. So I um I uh, I, th- I hope you regaled everyone with that incredible story. I'm um, sure they they feel my I, pain. I proofreaded everything, uh, so we're actually right about a few things. So, okay. I'm gonna start with a quick. Okay, let's just start here. So, the game ends with the game deciding to leave Midgar to stop Sethra, just like they do in there. But now, with the whispers being eliminated, major element story will change, right? Mm-hmm. So, this is where we got messed up. Is this some some sort of timeline difference? Is is the native timeline changed now, or are these different realities? So. Zach Fair, uh-huh. Cloud's mentor, also yep. the protagonist in Crisis Core, we discussed all that, um, is shown being killed uh, by the Shinwa infantry as he travels with the comatose Cloud to Midgar. Both Zack and Cloud are being... Uh, uh, we'll skip that. Which, uh, I don't want to... Just just in case people don't want to get spoiled. <clears throat> um, but after... Yeah, so after you eliminate... Just know that Zack dies in the original. After you eliminate the Whispers and Remake, you're shown a montage of what's going on in Midgar as your crew leaves. Rufus becomes the new president of Shinra. By the way, Rufus was dope. That guy was cool. He had oh, a yeah, cool he, dog. He, and he, had that, cool. he was like just dope all in general. I want to see more of that guy. Yeah. Nothing weird about that. Biggs is seeing recovering at his old uh, orphanage. Weird. He died which, in the original. Which is weird because if he survived, where's Jesse? So, she so I think dying? that's a big question. So no, so I think this is timeline changes from what we're doing. He oh. was dead. Yeah, but whatever we're doing changed that. Weird. Um. So I'm assuming whatever happens, something different happened to where he did not die because he was dead. That dude died. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted. So Jesse. I think. He, <laughs> I know, Alex. I'm so sorry. <laughs> she was cool. But but most importantly, Zach is seen surviving the Shinra onslaught. Carrying Cloud to Midgar. And this is uh, to show that there's a difference in these timelines. Mm. Um, there is a, sh- uh, a shot, if you remember this, Alex, because I saw this and was like, wait a minute. Mm. So you see the, the, the little pack that has Chip on it, right? He's a little mascot. Okay. The little okay. dog that you see throughout the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it changed. when Zack survives, it's a different dog. Yeah than the one we've always seen. This suggests that this is a completely different timeline we're experiencing. Huh. Um, so there's two pictures, uh, the one of the of the chip package with this stamp. It's the first and then one, the one was from like a the beagle. Game. Yeah, yeah. The the fir- the one we we experience is a beagle. This other one is some sort of like terrier type of I don't thing. know. Ter- yeah, terrier. Thank you, Alex. You're better with breeds than I am. But yeah, this is some sort of terrier. So they're different dogs. So this is just a different timelines. Hmm. So Whatever we're doing, we're either converging timelines or just messing up timelines in general. We're just going to get a smattering of random incident. Huh. Um, and then, like, it, it just goes on to say it's strong. It suggests it's a different timeline. Um, it's Yeah, it's a border terrier wearing a green hat. Okay. Uh, I said, oh, we're looking, maybe we got Evan's remake. So wonder... Aerith seems to sense that, seems to sense Zach. I guess yeah. that's what that meant, which he was all weird. Yeah, yeah. Um. And it seems like the only one, only they also go about. It seems like the only people who are aware of timeline changes is Aerith and Sephiroth. Yeah, everyone else. Well, because seems I assume not know what's going. On. She's an ancient, and is 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 he an ancient? I think I'm I think not he's a descendant like of an ancient sure. as well. I'm not gonna pretend like I know, but I f- feel like he is. I think so. <laughs> he seems to know a lot of stuff. mm Hmm. Uh, but, uh, so we've hit the ending. We've tried to explain it. Um, but let's, uh, let's go into, uh, first off, do you want anything about the ending that, uh, before we go, I want to talk about the boss fight. Okay. 
um, what do you what do you think about the whole boss fight? You did say you had issues with the end because it was so hard. Did you uh, do you think that's a problem with the game with your playstyle? Um, with, I, th- I with mean, what? it could be my playstyle, but like I had I wasn't I didn't have any issues throughout the whole game. Like you know, I'll die a couple times and then I'll come back. I'm like, okay, I got it now. But this one, dude, I just kept did- getting destroyed. I do feel like you would have done a lot better if I would have told you the. Oh uh, yes, oh my God. I call it the Imran the Khan thing. Uh, uh, the Imran Khan edition, where you put the magnify materia that you get mm. through helping the child source things. Yes. Attach that to Kier, okay. and then your Kier now heals your entire party. And I'm hoping some people listening are like, oh, shit, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Because I didn't know that, and I read that on a tweet, and I was like, that is genius. Because I didn't think it worked for healing. I thought it was just a, a primarily attack-based. Um, yeah, I didn't know that. It is. It does work. And see, I had it on like Barrett, just... but I didn't realize what it was. Yeah, no, it's it's pretty great. Uh, it's, it, one Cure August, 12 MP, so you can use it like almost yeah. all the time. That's the way. That's the only way I probably beat it so e- uh, as easily as I. Uh, yeah, also, kids, haste, ugh. haste. I put cloud uh, on and put him on haste, mm-hmm. and just haste everybody. It's amazing. I never. I didn't use haste once. It's it's good. It's it just speeds up your ATB, so you're like doing oh, quicker, gotcha, gotcha. damage quicker. And I'm constantly making them do things. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that was nice. Um, but I thought the the boss fight was done very well because I felt like it's very cinematic. Yeah. We had that giant godlike being, like just staring at us the whole time. That was cool. Yeah, that's um, nuts. And it was. Did you get the feeling that these were? This is gonna be weird, and I don't even have full explanations of this. Okay. But did you get a feeling that these were like Cloud, Tifa, and like Barrett, like from like, some like sort a, of different kind of like a persona like, type of thing. Ec- yeah, I don't uh, even like, know what it's, I it's would themselves, call it. It's themselves, like in a thing. But they seemed because I didn't assess on them, and it specifically says to each of them: one favored a blade, one favored yeah. their fists, and one favored their gun. Their gun, yeah. And they specifically said that, so I was very curious if, if I meant to, kind of think that they pulled cl- other clouds or something and made these whispers to emulate themselves or something. I don't know. But th- I thought that was cool. The, the whole thing was cool. It it very much reeked of, um, of like, despair. So you kind of, like, you felt like you had to kill kill these things to save yeah, yeah. people. Um, and that Sethroth fight, bro. Was yeah, that dope. thing was crazy. That was cool. I really had fun with the Sethroth fight. Yeah, I know. That was it, that was pretty fun. And um, with that theme... By the way, oh, God, this yeah. soundtrack, Alex, through the roof. I loved this entire soundtrack from stem to stern. Every every song, mm-hmm. just bopping. Yeah, no, it was it was really good. I was enjoying myself. Like I actually enjoyed this game a lot uh, more than I thought I would. But um, I, I like I want to play more because it's so confusing. Because there's still yeah, things I, like I, left unanswered. I told Alex after beating it because he finally he beat it yesterday, and I wanted to talk to him about it. Mm-hmm. I told him. This game, unfortunately, seems like you should have played the original before playing this. Yeah. There are so many callbacks, so many things I'm supposed to know. I mean, of course, I, I'm sure hindsight for some people will be like, well, duh, you're supposed to have. But I thought this was going to be a full retelling with maybe some minor twists yeah. and turns. <laughs> kind of like people... how 15 did to where like, oh, you you know, it's, you don't you don't need to play past ones. It's like if you're new to Final Fantasy, you can just start with this one. He kinda, yeah. Like I feel like there are gonna be some small twists and turns, but I would get the gist of the story. Yeah, this is you are hundred. The next one more so, but you are one hundred percent supposed to play the original mm-hmm. than play this game. It's just not gonna mean as much. Yeah, cause at, at and I yeah. think that's why I'm not as high on it as other people are. I did love my time, and I will probably go back and platinum it. Mm. But there are just some things that went over my head that that I no just... yeah there's still a lot of things like for there's still like flat uh, like little visions that Cloud got like for example like the um the one with Tifa in the cowgirl outfit or whatever and she was like I'm oh so my done with God. this I was so confused um by who that? was that on the floor I couldn't tell so do you want me to tell you 
Yes. I know who it is. I, well, because so, I couldn't tell if this is like an alter li- timeline. F- so uh, I'm just going to tell people, and I'm assuming most people have also played the original. I feel like we're the rare occasion they okay. haven't. But the person laying on the ground is her father. Okay. And, he, I, and she, I, I assume she's younger than she is now. Yeah, so I'm assuming flashback. this happened in the past. Yeah, with flash. Uh, that cowgirl outfit was fucking weird. Yeah, I assume it was in the past where it, I'm like guessing Sephiroth or somebody killed her dad or whatever. Maybe, yeah. And I'm, and I'm very curious why she doesn't bring it up because Cloud remembers it. So he should have seen, yeah. seen it maybe. But I, I, I don't know what happened. That would be interesting if if we figure that out. Mm-hmm. The whole Sephiroth thing like, is confusing because like first you know they, everybody thinks he's dead, but then Cloud is the only one able to see him in the visions. But then everybody gets to see him when they hit the Geneva thing. So I'm like, how the fuck? I I 100 percent think it is explained. It's just not explained to us. Again, I think this echoes we should have played the original. Or at least we should have knowledge of the original. Yeah. I ha- played Cross's Core, and I know parts of Sethra's character. I just don't know why he... I don't know why Cloud is the only one seeing him. I don't know that... I think I might have a kind of theory, but I, I don't think it's right. Yeah. <laughs> um... But uh, I will play Final Fantasy VII probably this year because we do have a, a decent gap of yeah. time. I want to yeah, beat Persona try. 5 Royal, and then I'll, I'm going to go. Uh, and just a heads up, Alex, if you want to just blaze through that game, the remake on Xbox that I got, if you double-click the sticks, you go into God mode, and you could just one-hit everything uh, because you get limit over and over again. So if you want to just blaze through it and experience the story, just do it. Huh. And is that after yeah. you play in the game? No, 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 no. This is they added this for people to incentivize people that haven't played it before to come and, and you know, just kind of mess around. So uh, this is the original game. Oh, the original game. The original game, yes, yeah. I think you're talking about this, this one. I was like, game. well, I would have known mm-hmm. that would have changed it. I wouldn't have changed it to easy. <laughs> no, no, no. Original game. Oh. If you play the original game right now on Xbox, yeah. double click sticks. That activates like a god mode. Mm-hmm. Destroy everything. Does that make it to where the, I can't get achievements? No. Can I still get achievements? No, it's not like a... Ch- yeah. Okay. I did. Because I really I don't want to put 100 hours on this game, but I want to play the story. I don't think it's that long, but I'm pretty sure it's close to 60. Yeah. Because um, I still I go will, back to I Persona. will play it. <laughs> but what do you... Th- Go ahead. What do you think on um? Because we've 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 beat the the ending to death. Yeah, I feel like, and we've kind of figured out pieces of the ending. Oh, whole, through, throughout the game, what was your experience like? What did you think? Um, I what did you like? What didn't you like? I enjoyed the kind of like the openness of being able to do some stuff. Um, like the open worldness, I didn't care for the traversing between the sections like section uh sector sorry sector fives and six and stuff like that because it was yeah I, I, like at some points it was getting a little annoying so like uh, throughout the story let's say you were with Aerith, he's like oh we got we're from sector five we gotta go all the way to sector six we take this back alleyway that takes god knows how long <laughs> and, and then later on, we we we're at the sector seven gates broken, and we just or like everything's broken, uh, because they dropped the plate, and everything is like, and then we just walk, and it takes like five minutes to get through the other sector. I'm like, why couldn't I do this before? Yeah, I and like I know I'm sure story, they wanted to put but... in, uh, yeah, I'm sure they wanted to put in a story and level, and and you want and they want Aerith and Cloud to get to know each other. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm assuming that that's why they did that, but it does God, seem that took forever tedious when you keep doing it yeah especially the the, the robot arm thing like that was <sighs> that and, and this really hits one of my major points of the game why are there just so many mini game type things mm-hmm. like there's just so many like i can't just walk somewhere there has to be some sort of mechanic that i have to do to do something yeah like um like i have to increase and decrease water levels yep. i gotta i gotta move a robot hand and catch Aerith and move yeah, like it's just, it's, it's I crazy. wish there were a little bit less because after a while I was like, "What's the next mechanic?" Then I have to, <laughs> then um, I had to uh, 
uh, as Tifa and Aerith. Dude, though, you're talking about like one. an old, like an old mine cart. Have to, oh like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> move, move this thing up and down, and and try to hit it in this in this green red area. triangle. Uh, it's so it's so many. Yeah, I, I can go on and on, and there's other weird things where, I, in my notes, I have why am I picking flowers? I didn't <laughs> hate picking flowers. It was just how slow that was. I would have preferred a cutscene with them staring yeah. and oding with each other and not me awkwardly walking next to her <laughs> yeah no i hate the parts where like it makes you walk super fucking slow like let me just run or just make it a cutscene. yeah make or that a scene thing. that i can sit back watch two people enjoy their company and have some sort of dialogue rather than me this is my this was my issue if you call with days gone why am i why am i doing something that i can't control otherwise because mm. It's just there's nothing going. There's nothing going on. So it's either make it a cutscene or just kind of take it over and make it look cinematic. God of War yeah. was really good with this. I didn't. I never felt impaired. It was all very natural feeling. Yeah. Um. It just. It feels like there's moments where I'm walking and then all right, talk. So <laughs> you're talking, so you don't move now. <laughs> you 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 experience this. Yeah. And there's cutscenes which I. Um, but uh, I a couple notes I have. Intro was amazing. Mm-hmm. That was dope. The full intro tutorial is really good, surprisingly. I do feel like every tutorial that I'm told, I do remember. I don't mm. know what about them are nice. But I feel like every time I'm told something, it does stick in my head. Hmm. What did you think about the side quests? I was literally about to bring that up. I have two things I need to bring up that kind of like grinds my gears. Oh. One? We're, now, we're now hitting the spoiler cast of, this really grinds Alex's gears. <laughs> Please go. <laughs> um, The side quests. Why are there so many? And I'm over here trying to do... If they were good. Yeah, exactly. I'm just being um, straightforward with you. No, if they were um, good, I wouldn't care. But uh, some of these are just silly. And and I I, I did them all. It's, they all say clear. Me too. But I didn't get the trophy. Oh, you fucked something up then. So, like, but see, at the very end where it tells you you can do the, the play log and see what's missing... Yeah. Um, it says like it the jobs is that is that count at the side quest because it says jobs I'm missing like one and I don't know what that means but I did literally every single quest like they all say clear mm, I don't think the jobs count okay but are you yeah, are you I, sure that you did the guardians of the slum the very last one what the very last one the guardian of the slum oh where no you have yeah to yeah open the stashes you open the last stash. Yeah, the last dash was inside that, oh, the weird... The sewer. The sewer, yeah, I did the last one. And I even okay. checked back, once I got out of the sewers and checked, it said cleared. Like, That's I went strange. through all of them uh, and I'll say cleared, and I'm like, I, I would say why? maybe look over some some stuff. Maybe you missed something real early in the game. I don't know. But um, I'm not sure. Me. Maybe there's a specific side quest that doesn't pop up that does count. I'm not sure. Mine it wasn't bugged. I got it when I finished the last uh, the last one. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Um, but but I did not love the side questing. No. I love some of them, like the guardian, the angel of the slum. Sorry, not guardian, angel of the slum. That stuff was cool because I was yeah. intrigued by who the angel was, and then find out it's the old lady. That that was cool. I, I liked that. Um, I did I enjoy story related stuff. I did enjoy how each sector looked very like different. Yes, that was cool. You, you did get a feel. Like um uh the the one was a giant shop the other one was yeah. really open and the sun was going through it yep um the other thing that that I really thought was annoying because there was we never saw that person again was the motorcycle dude that would it would go nuts I'm assuming he's again if Will we, we see probably him played the original maybe we'd like him I am probably I don't know I I don't maybe. recognize him. I mean, it's weird because, like, why why would they add him at the very, very beginning with your little mini game with Jess, and then he comes up and he help he helps you in that cutscene with Wedge and all that stuff in that one facility, and then we never see him again in the game. I, it it was definitely strange, but I did like his gusto. Oh you know no, I, mean? I I enjoyed I did, his I did character. like it, but it is but weird. Again, the... I think, yeah, I think this game. Uh, is definitely like we have more to show. So that like, I put it in and big just let it go through. How... Because like, am I waiting three years for another game? And I I want to close on mm. that. 
Uh, so I won't get on that too much right now. But I do want to close on, like, wh- how many are we getting? How long is this going to take? Mm. Um, it, it, will I still care in three years? You know, anything like that. But <laughs> uh, to, to close on the side quests, ha- I would say about half were fun. The other half were just like, why? Uh, the one I didn't like, which every game does this to kind of make a joke. But you know the thing where you have to get a thing and then you, you need an item. So yeah. you go to this character to get the item. Well, that character wants this item. Oh, so you yeah, go yep. to another character to get another like, oh, item. Oh, yeah, you give me this, this I'll give you this. And and every game tries to do that because <sighs> it kind of makes fun of stuff. Mm. It gets old after a while. <laughs> after a while. And yeah. I think we've hit the point where we should probably take a break on doing this joke. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't have it, mind. It was not fun. Like if each chapter had like, you know, maybe two or three quests. But like that la- chapter 14, man, it had nine, I think quest it did oh my god it, feel, it did feel grindy it i did like, like the kids the kids was cool yeah no that was good i like that one but it took me forever i was on chapter 14 forever because i was trying to finish those damn quests it took me a probably a full day play time to get through all those because yeah. i remember starting it uh starting with none of them done and ending it with all of them done and then mm-hmm. being like all right now i can start the game like start the rest of the game and then yeah. I, I stopped for the day because that took me a full basically a full day playthrough. yeah yeah because i kept wanting to continue um, but i'm like well i can't because i gotta finish these quests to get the a trophy and i never got the trophy i'm so sorry Alex. i'm sure you're traumatized it's it's, the, it's um, like the same thing with lego harry potter remember i get the last gold brick and they never <laughs> gave it to me and i'll never yes have that i thousand. remember you got the last gold. you missed one gold brick and it was bugged Yep. This one might be bugged as well. I don't know. A um, couple other things I uh, uh, thought were strange. The lamp section of the game. Remember when you have to turn off all the lamps? Um, I felt that was tedious. I felt like that was very slow. That was... Oh, yeah. My God. I want you. I want to know. I love this game. But there's lots of peaks and lots of valleys. And what I mean by that is I'm having a great time in some sections. And there's other sections where this game grinds to a halt. Yeah, it's like, why? And What's I'm just the point? Like, it's not like oh it did anything. Oh, my God. <laughs> the lamp thing was like, all right, this this uh, the first part, I'm like, oh, this is cool. This is a giant lamp. This is like their sun. Yeah. Probably emitting UV rays to help. And, and it's, then I'm like, all right, there's three of them. And then it took me that long to do the first one. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, this and, is <laughs> and, you d- and you do all of them. And they're like, oh, yeah, you know, you get rid of all of them. Each sector won't have one. But then later on in the game, they never mention it again how we turned them off. So, like, do they not have sun? Are we dealing with that still? Like, what's the point? I don't even remember why. Why did we do that? Do you remember? Um, we, so didn't we turn had, them off? They had to, to turn off to get that power to open that door, which makes no sense. One little small uh. door needs all the powers from three huge okay. lamps okay <laughs> okay that does sound pretty silly <laughs> i don't yeah. know i don't if that's true that's pretty silly yeah no like it's like uh, they, it wouldn't the door wouldn't open and they're like they turned one off and they're like oh it's not enough power all the lamps have to be turned off for all that power <laughs> surge to go to the door and i'm like if that's if that's real that's pretty hilarious <laughs> i was like why why can't i just turn off one lamp for one door <laughs> that's that's awesome <laughs> i was so upset um, like that that oh my god a positive uh i did love that the battle dialogue and what i mean by it is when they're talking to each other oh, yeah, battles yeah. and after battles it seemed to get nicer as the game progressed which yeah. was really cool just kind of thing you can notice like in the very beginning of the game barrett is really like uh whatever merc like not really talking to him mm-hmm. or they're making fun of each other Midway, they're like kind of lukewarm on each other, and then near the end, chapter 14, 15, they're like cracking jokes and, mm-hmm. and having fun with each other. That was a really cool part of the game. Yeah, I, I, I love when I notice a little stuff like that. Um, I loved Lab Rat, Lab Rat Dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, Red. No, I, I just love that. Yeah, I just love that period. This Lab Rat Dog, so, he's like, Are you just a lab rat? They didn't specify. Dog? <laughs> Did he already was able to talk, or when he or was he able to talk after he? touched air like if i know oh good point um i don't know i can't tell if she because i think he was already I... able to talk she just gave him knowledge about the whispers i assume so she says touching people is what gives them the, the ability to see whispers mm-hmm. so I, assume... I wouldn't see why that would calm him down i think he could talk before i'm okay. pretty sure he could talk before i think that's what from experimenting on a lot okay 
But I'm very curious on what touching him did to calm him. I think he saw the flash, like what uh, Cloud did with Aerith. Like, he saw the flash and seeing the feature and things like that. Uh, okay. So that's why okay. he was like, okay, I see what's going to happen, so I'll come with you guys. Okay. And then... Uh, okay, I see that. <laughs> I was so confused because he was like... They also like when you were fighting the Harbinger, he get they get the flash of him run the red running by himself. I'm like, they're like, oh, what did we just watch? Oh, that could be a future. What? Just him running through the <laughs> desert, or is it just him by him himself? He's, nobody else is alive. Like, and that didn't specify that. Again, I think it's if we played the original, we'd be like, oh my god, that's that time he ran through sand. I love it. Like I and again, I fuck if I know. I don't know, oh, man. But I original. Wow. So we definitely, we I definitely, if I knew if prior to this, if I mm-hmm. knew how big of a deal, I would have played. I'll definitely go to it now. Now that you said the God Mode thing, I'll definitely go back to it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's e- it's easy. I I played a little bit of it doing it, and I'm like, oh, I can I can mess with this. Yeah. Um. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, anything else you want to last with just random things throughout the game that you want to bring up? Hmm. I like the combat. Combat was dope. Yeah, there the were many times good. that I was like, There'll I wish Kingdom Hearts. There is some times though where I get a little upset because it's there's no like recovery. You know how in Kingdom Hearts, like, if you get hit or whatever, you get hit circle, yeah. and you get, like, a recovery? With Cloud, like, if you get hit, you get bounced on, the like, in the air, and then you get dropped, and you gotta wait till he gets up. Like, there's no I did like, hate dodge the or out of me- recovery or whatever. I did hate the cancel mechanic, where if you start an ability and get hit, it cancels uh, it if you're not strong enough. Yeah, it's so that upsetting. Sucks. I did, I did wish you kind of, like, were invulnerable for maybe a little bit. Or maybe that was yes. a skill I could learn with a specific weapon. Or just any way I could stop that from happening. Because I did mm. feel like I was getting fucked up. Yep. And I would go to do something, and they'd cancel a cure. And I'm like, ooh, I'm, I might be <laughs> dead. fucking roll. <laughs> I might be dead. And you kind of run around, and you're like, I got to hit stuff to get an ATB. This isn't going to work. Yeah, that's that's what's annoying. You got to hit shit to get ATB. So you're always yeah. trying to get an item I, or something, and you're like, well, can't do that now either. I, I will say items become useless the longer the game goes. Oh, for sure. I that use sucks. literally nothing of my items other than an ether, elixir, and the potions. Yeah, I used ethers. I used phoenix downs. Yeah, I phoenix used downs. one elixir. Yeah. Uh, throughout it, the whole game like, because I'm everything else, terrified like the grenades, of grenades. The big... I used the turbo ether. Yeah, I used that. That thing was cool. Yeah, turbo ether is really good. I wanted to keep them just uh, for hard playthrough. But hard playthrough, you can't use items apparently. So what? there you go. Yeah. So Not I don't know. I don't know the breadth of of what that means. I don't know if if out of combat you can use items or not. But hmm. during combat, you cannot use items in hard. Damn. I yeah. assume you. I, see, I, I assume you can use it out of combat. So it's in combat. That so makes too. more sense. Yeah, I assume so too. But well, I'll find out when I do, eventually do it. Yeah. Good luck um, with that. <laughs> Alex says I'm not having any part of that. Nope. But yeah, I, 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 it sucks that items became basically useless. Um, yeah. What did you think of the weapon system? Um, I like it, but it's the materia confused me a little until I got I finally understood how to do it. Cause, but like overall, I'm just I don't know. So what do you what do you what do you mean by the material? Was it something the game did? Were you just not familiar with the material in the first place? I guess I wasn't familiar with it, or I just I I was not interested at all, like putting these materials on my weapon. Like I know they're kind you of just considered to like as with runes. Your sword. Yeah, I just I yeah I mean like give me the sword and let me upgrade it. I didn't really care for the material. Okay, now. I feel like you you would care a little more with assess. Assess does make it a little easier to use materia. Yeah. Um. And what assess does it it tells you the weakness. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. once you assess, it tells you the weakness. Then you can be like, okay, thunder, boom, thunder. Yeah. Boom, and see, thunder, I or... and, and see, I wish you can just have access all the time, kind of like scan in Kingdom Hearts. Like, I mean, it. I mean, I don't know scan just does the health bar, but um, yeah. I wish it was something to where like you could just automatically once you, like for example. If you get the full proficiency of the weapon, you can yeah. on Mac. Um, I wish X access was already Access. part of one. Yeah. So, um, I get it. Maybe yeah. that that could be an upgrade for the assess, to where you eventually can 
assess whatever you come in contact or kill it after killing it you assess it immediately mm-hmm. or something so i understand what you mean yeah um i didn't uh uh oh, i lost my train of thought um oh the weapon system i i liked it uh myself um i liked the materia i love leveling up materia i don't know what about it like i liked so much about it yeah but the actual leveling up of material, I was like, oh, this is satisfying a very specific itch. Yeah. Um, I really enjoy. I, re- I mean, I really enjoyed the game. Uh, the material, I was getting used to after, towards the end, which is weird. No, I get it, definitely. And, and like I said, the uh, the higher the spell goes, the stronger it gets, yeah, which yeah. I love. Well, um, you eventually get the Agas and all that. Um, Overall, what would you have given it? Because I think... I would give it seven and a half to an eight, maybe an eight point five, depending on how I was feeling that day. Because there'd be a certain day where I'm like really digging it, but then certain days I'm like, ugh, it feels like work. So I think it's seven and a half to an eight. Yeah, I would be between if I had to number it seven. Uh, I would do. I would probably be at eight point five. I definitely personally. recommend it though, just to because it's pretty oh, of cool. I feel like I would be much higher if I played the original. Just yeah. be perfectly honest with everybody. <laughs> if I played the original, most likely this would probably be a nine to nine point five to even a ten. I don't think people are crazy giving this game a ten. Yeah. Um I do think some parts I'm like, God, this is a ten, but after all after everything I'm like, eh, I get it. I, I get why you could love this, especially mm-hmm. if you love the original. Like all this is just like nostalgia juice. I don't know if you know this, Alex, but there's actually different choices in this game, hmm. apparently. Yeah, I think I've come. And there's random different things that can change. Yeah, um, there's different dresses for Tifa, Aerith, and Cloud that can mm-hmm. like wear. There's three in total, so nine, three for each, nine in total. Yeah, uh, for each of them. Um, and there's different small choices you can make throughout the game as well. Um, and I wanted to just hit on some of these choices and just see what we did. Um, so starting off with choice one, the bomb timer. Did you do twenty minutes or thirty minutes? You remember the first one i did 20 i did 20 as well because i was like ain't no bitch mm-hmm. ain't no bitch if i die i die let's do it yeah <laughs> um flower buying um uh so this is what this is the first kind of resolution thing you can do okay so to be befriend Aerith throughout the game Mm-hmm. You either do uh, how much or I'm good. I'm good means you are more lukewarm and you're favoring either uh, Barrett or Tifa more. Okay. And if you do how much, that's kind of like a plus one to like your friendship with Aerith. Okay. Um, and that's the first thing that happens. And you obviously take it regardless. But um, you can do that. And then this is the dress part I was speaking of. So mm-hmm. when Tifa asks... What would suit her at the discovery event alone at last uh, mm-hmm. when you go to her room? There's something mature for the blue dress from the tailors, which I did that. Mm-hmm. Um, something sporty for the pattern Shingsem. Mm-hmm. And then something exotic. <clears throat> and then it's the black robe, but like dress, like a black robe. And then mm-hmm. those are the three different ones. And then there's, of course, a trophy for getting all the dresses. Um, so you have to, I assume, play, click, select each thing and beat it or something to get that. I'm not sure. Hmm. Um, and then the getting the drink at the bar. That's again another plus one if you have the drink with Tifa, or <clears throat> it's a zero if you don't. Hmm. Um. And a date with Jesse the, in chapter four, mm-hmm. um, asking, "Will you come back tomorrow night?" Um, there's, there's no implications, but, uh, they'll never take place, but as far, you can pick whatever you want. So there's nothing different there, yeah. but it is, I just wanted to bring that up because it is upsetting. Yeah. I was starting to, I was starting to warm up on Jesse. I'm not going to lie. That's what I'm saying. Like, I was, like, she, I was starting to warm up to her. To me. Why it was am funny I because it, really she on? kept flirting with you. And I was down for Jesse. She's adorable. Mm. Adorable. Chapter eight choices for an outfit. Um, there's no dialogue or anything, um, but there's side quests that you do that will determine Aerith's actual dress in the game. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, this is another plus one for like Tifa's like thing. Like if you're interested in her, uh, uh, Bill the Choc- oh no Sam sorry Sam Chocobo Sam guy. Mm-hmm. asks uh what are you looking for and uh, what do you think of tifa you can say she's great shape great fighter she's great at handling books mm-hmm. um and you know obviously I'm whatever one fighter. the biggest one is is she's in great shape that's the biggest like increase 
the great fighter is a, a slight increase and then the handling books is basically a zero mm. um and then it asks if you can stay the night this is a minor choice he's like no thanks Aerith would generally agree with they just skirt the question how much uh Aerith will slightly disapprove <laughs> and if you say back off they will agree and add the incubator that she and cloud are in air um, let's skip that one because that's just some weird stuff with Johnny. Yeah, he's weird. Uh, yeah, he's pretty strange. <laughs> what, did, what did you think of Johnny? Just out of curiosity, like, what, did you like his character? Um, it was fine. I it's like I, I sometimes it got a little annoying because he he kept saying bro a lot. I started warming up to him though. He's like, yeah. all, he's he was all right. He was he was in a nice change of pace because he's so strange. Mm-hmm. Um, moving on, Madam N's massage course. Um, that, choosing that was the luxury weird. course, which you pay three grand, mm-hmm. um, gives you a better chance of getting her two quests. Um, mm-hmm. uh, basically guaranteeing her two quests. On the opposite end, if you do the poor man's course, it makes it more likely you get Chocobo Sam's two quests. Yeah. And then just the standard one thousand gills is just equally. Uh, they're both equal. Um, did, I did the luxury course. What did you do? Uh, the the most expensive one. Yeah, I did too. So that, yeah. that's a luxury course. That that was so strange. <laughs> Which, uh, how disturbing was that? Because you I could. <laughs> that's also your hand, but you know, of course, that's it's meaning to something else. I I. <laughs> so was how did you take that scene? Did you think it was just the hand, or do you think? No, other I like feel like they. I feel like they banged. I I think I think we're supposed to in canon in, in quotes wise it's supposed to just be the hand but it was very strange with his moaning facial I expressions other things were happening but I, that was very weird yeah that was that was weird <laughs> like was and then she just, she just comes out just like afterwards she came out confident and she owned it <laughs> yeah and, and all then he, weird then staring he's at his hand. Fucking, yeah he's just fucking chilling at the corner he's it's, she Aerith is like cloud you good he's like uh, uh. He, he's literally staring at the corner like, uh, uh. <laughs> like he's traumatized or something. yeah it's like he's never it, nobody's ever done that to his body no one's ever touched him like that all right yep and Aerith was like damn it she beat me to it um, there's another kind of plus thing where you just, uh, you ask, uh, Aerith asks, like, how, what she looks like. Mm. Um, that's another plus you can get. Um, <laughs> taste mysterious drink. I didn't do this. I did that one. Um, I don't think I uh, This happens. isn't an optional choice that you'll find in the, uh, Corneo Coliseum waiting room with Johnny. You can just ignore it if you want, which you've done accidentally on a few for uh, chapter nine playthroughs. Mm. Uh, Johnny will say that the drink will help in the upcoming fight and you'll have to choose whether to take it. Um, you'll take. Uh, I will taste it. We'll have Cloud comment that the drink is thick, and Aerith won't get any. You won't see any obvious benefit or anything. Yeah. I don't need that. We'll have Cloud skip the option and take the drink. And just just doesn't seem to have any immediate consequences. It's possible that will make Aerith like Cloud a little less. <laughs> um, but that's too sure. Yeah. Um, it's very strange though. Yeah. It's <laughs> he weird. said you did take drink it. Yeah, I drank it, and he was like, mm, "It's thick," and she was like, "Well, you didn't leave me any <laughs> or something such like a that." Weird thing. <laughs> Um, there is a, a, oh God, what was it? It's a, dis- I don't know if it's a decision. I guess it is. When you walk to, when you go to the health, uh, the hotel in Wall Market, it's like, oh, uh-huh. would you like to stay in, uh, stay the night? And if you say no, um, Aerith, it's comments. She was like, oh, you were thinking about it though, huh? Like as in, like they wanted a room together. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I wonder, I was like, if I would have said yes the first time, I wonder if she would have commented at that. Cause she commented when I said no. I think that's like a negative one. I think we you said that earlier. I think that's a negative one if you like say yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. and then checking on T for Aerith. Uh, apparently gives you just a unique cutscene. <clears throat> Look, oh, you do get extra points at whoever you go to. Okay. When you go in the sewers and they're on the ground, you go to pick which one. I, co- I of course go to Tifa first because mm-hmm. she's for one. Um, let's see what the. I went to don't Aerith. let it be for nothing when Jesse's uh, sitting there supposedly dying. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, it doesn't have it's no it doesn't look like there's any consequences so you do whatever you prefer. Okay. Um, and then there's the f- actual ending with chapter 14 resolution scene. So these are the differences <clears throat> in what you've been picking throughout the game. 
So there's three different scenes. Tifa, Aerith, and Barrett all get one. And you can, mm -hmm. uh, throughout the game, kind of pick and choose. You'll get the 14 with either Tifa, Barrett, or Aerith. I'll be straight with you. I don't even remember who I got. I'll have to look at each scene and see which one I got because I didn't even notice this was happening in the game. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, even, I don't even remember. Yeah, me either. Did you... Oh, did you take the elevator or the stairs, Alex? Um, what part? At the near the end, when you're going to Shinra HQ, there's an option of we can take the stairs. Uh, it takes longer, uh, and you don't find anything, or oh, you can took, take the elevator. I, I took the stairs. You took the stairs, really? And it's crazy because I didn't even know that's what I was doing. I guess I was skipped. I skipped, or I wasn't paying attention. I was doing, and yeah. I was like, oh, I got the key card, so I went up the stairs. And there was the three, you know, the three ways you can go. And I was like, well, fuck, which way was I supposed to go? And I was like, fuck it, I'll go left. Left is the staircase. And it's like, oh, yeah. you know, we'll go up 59 floors. I'm like, oh. And you did it? Yeah. Oh, wow. No. Yeah. So I, I went to do it and was like, I'll just take the elevator and see what happens. And during the elevator scene, it, uh, it I assume it's meant to be, like, not as safe. Mm -hmm. So every fuel, it'll stop the doors will open and you fight some people and that okay. happens like two or three times and then one time it opens and it's just like an assistant tries to walk through and cloud takes the sword out and points it at her and she just <laughs> that's funny no we literally i walk up the stairs and um we all kept ru just running up the stairs and then every like 10 or every couple or whatever everybody starts slowing down you could tell like even they don't want to run anymore and their um tifa goes up ahead and passes me and um yep. and she was like oh you should go and uh wait for barrett because barrett's taking a little long <laughs> and then um i waited for him and he was like cloud wait up so i waited a little bit and then he passed me and then he kept going faster and faster i'm like man motherfucker went faster than i did and then he started getting slower <laughs> and um at the very end you see Tifa, and, they, and then all three started just panting really, really, really like a lot, and they're like, oh, yeah, finally. That's awesome. I, I'll probably end up doing that just to see, but 59 flights is so long. Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> took, it took about, uh, what, five, ten minutes? Yeah, it's just running up and down. Yeah, I literally, I just, like, held the run button and just analog second, and it literally, you actually run all five, you fly uh, 59 flights of stairs. That's just a pretty cool option, I think. Yeah. He's like, you want to take the stairs? You want to take the other? <laughs> um, uh, give 10,000 to Hart. I actually missed this. I did So I one. need to replay this section. Uh, if you speak to Hart, uh, you'll, he'll ask if you want a hint. You can yep. give him 10,000 gil. You can give him the hint, and you'll also get the EKG, EKG cannon, cannon for Barrett. That's what I used for the Which end. apparently is the best gun for Barrett in the game. Yep. I need to go back and do that just to get that. I think that's on the only gun I'm missing. Or only weapon I'm missing entire game i think yeah i'm i'm pretty sure i got everything else yeah i, th I believe i got everything else as well <clears throat> um lo say oh and i didn't know about this chapter 18 choices so the very ending one final consequence of the choices you've made throughout the game will manifest during the fight with the final boss after a short stint fighting with cloud alone the order your party members join up to assist in the battle will depend on the choices you've made leading up to the climax of the game hmm. kind of cool yeah which makes sense. I got Tifa first, then I think Aerith. Mm. And then I think Barrett. Might have been no no no. It was Tifa, Barrett, then Aerith with Red Thirteen, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So that's cool. I think I got that Aerith was all the first different... and then Tifa. Oh you got Aerith first. Yeah. Yeah, I did get Aerith first. Nope. Oh so you so you you, you you like tended with Aerith more than Tifa then, right? Yeah, I guess so. Alright. That makes sense. Um, how to get everything? We just kind of did that, so I'll skip this. That was just more chapter fourteen things. Yeah, These I don't know. Easter I don't know which team I would be: Team Aerith or Team Tifa. I originally I was Team Aerith all the way, and then giving the the more context, mm -hmm. uh, I go Tifa all the way. And see, I was Tifa at first, but then Aerith grew on me, so I'm like, I don't know. Really? But then I, I, after, I, I, I'm but not then afterwards, anti, I'm not anti Aerith. Yeah. You know what I mean. And see, I was fine with her, but then she was like, you know, she was the, with the first guy she ever loved, and I was like, oh, that's Zach. So, and then I thought about it, I was like, oh, she's resembling me too much with him, so I'm like, nah, I'll go back to Tifa. Well, now she's got Zach, if the ending is to be believed. Mm-hmm. 
Still get Zach, man. Don't don't get too attached. All right, Zach comes in, scoops her up immediately. You know what I mean? Yep. It's all right. I'll, I'll stick you with Tifa. You have to fight for. <laughs> we still, you have yeah. to fight, man. Yeah, man. And then this is some fun Easter eggs. We'll just go over. There's way too many for us to read. We're all of them, so I'm just gonna do a few cool ones. Um, the Final Fantasy remake. Of, uh, this is the first one from later in the story. So forefront front light clouds vision in the original game as he approaches reactor one to set the bomb. Um, Cloud hears their voice warns, uh, watch out, this isn't just a reactor. In the remake, that moment, it was a flashback to Cloud's younger life. Hmm. Growing up with Tifa and telling her that he's leaving for soldier in the original. <sighs> um, relax and save. There are no save points in the remake, just uh, unlike the original game. Because in the original game, there's actual save points. They look like kind of diamonds. Yeah. Um, there are park benches that give you the full actual thing, so that's kind of like a... A little bit. Uh, 32-bit 7th Heaven. You look closely on the wall in Tifa's bar in the remake, you can find a photo of the interior of the same location in the original game and all of its pre-rendered glory. So if you're ever in 7th Heaven, it looks like it's uh, two pictures of the original 7th Heaven above a doorway, which That's looks cool. cool. I didn't see that um, one. I didn't see that either. Uh, let's see. A certain material. Cloud meets Aerith in the same way as in the original when he plummets through the ceiling of her church lands in her flower bread during the encounter Aerith mentions the material she keeps tied in her ribbon when she brings it up cloud has a brief vision of a cutscene from the original game of that same material in the city of the agents a hit of plot to assist hmm. <clears throat> an extremely dangerous item shop i thought this was cool i didn't see this so i kind of want to go and find it Drop by Walmart and you might be confused by an automated item shop where you suppose, uh, you're supposed to be able to get an item you want for a fee. When you try to use it, a gun descends from the ceiling and attempts to fire at Cloud. The same prank item sh uh, shop is in the original. Returning to it later in the game is the only way to get Tifa's... And we'll have to wait and see if that actually comes to... Um, this is something we didn't bring up, actually. Uh, <clears throat> do you remember... What was up with the Hell House? Uh <sighs> That was so weird, and I had a huge problem killing that thing. Yeah, because I didn't know what, how the hell to kill it at first until I started, like, because I died once, and I'm like, all right, I need to figure this out. So I, like, paused yeah. it, and I'm like, boy, it keeps changing color, so I assume I have to use this different types of fucking spells. Material. Yeah, so one of the issues I had with the game actually was I couldn't uh, modify equipment during a battle. I would essentially have to mm -hmm. kill myself and then reload the game. Uh, um, and I didn't love that solution. Yeah, specifically in that fight because I need you obviously need some type of different material to hit that thing because yeah. it took forever to kill that thing without material, and I just didn't have the correct material on me to actually fight him, mm. which was very upsetting because and it got very annoying very quickly. Yeah. Uh, never. I'll never let go during the guy tour. Well, I'm looking at his, like the coral theme, and then I'll skip that one because that looks like a spoiler, but I'm not really sure. Well, I mean, this is a spoiler cast. Well, no, a spoiler between for others types of the game, and also oh. for me, it doesn't make any sense because <laughs> I haven't <laughs> played the other ones. Gotcha. Um, that looks like all the ones that are for fun, uh, Easter eggs. Um, and that Alex, our spoiler cast for Final Fantasy VII. Any lasting things you want to leave with the achievers say it now fuck corneo <laughs> i was upset i thought we were going to be able to kill him and i'm i'm assuming we will eventually what, what where'd he but go when i wasn't able to kill him I, I, I he just ran i guess um no offense that dude was very fat so how did he get that far no idea yeah like, jesus <laughs> and, christ and we should and barrett should have put it so many holes into him like yep I wish we I wish we were able to kill him. Yeah, he was so fucking annoying. That was, he was gross. Yeah. And I felt for the I didn't think I would care, but I did feel for that one dude. Um Oh, um Oh, Leslie, Leslie right? Yeah. I was I, I I at first like offhand like you don't give a shit about him. Then he helps you out and gives you weapons. And I'm like, "Oh, you're cool." And then you bring you go back to him and then you Beyoncé was murdered by Don Corneo, but mm -hmm. then wasn't, I guess. Guess she's alive. Yeah, that's Earth crazy. knows. Yeah. So you, he's, he what do you think is up with? We'll end the podcast with this. What do you think is up with Aerith? 
Mm. Do you think, because she seems to have some sort of otherworldly knowledge. Do you think she has some sort of ability to know there's different timelines or something? I, I feel like, she, yes. I feel like she can kind of sense the alternate realities or she's seen visions of the future that's happening. Because, like, in certain part of the game, she, uh, she kind of, like, references, kind of, like, she, or kind you can tell that she kind of knows what's going to happen. So she kind of, like, uh, trying to... She she kept acting weird to nudging where, like, certain things. Yeah, nudging certain things to where like oh you know, like I kept getting the um, the feeling that uh, she saw the feature or something, and she it, like she kept uh, acting weird, like she was saying goodbye or whatever. It was being weird. So I was interesting. Like, yeah, so I was like, I don't know. It was is is really weird. She 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 kept trying to help Cloud to be like oh you know you got to make sure you do this or whatever. Like she kept saying thing i forget what it was she kept acting like she wasn't gonna be around so like it was confusing huh i'm very curious on what comes of that because i echo you especially with that last part where she does seem to have some sort of knowledge that we don't understand or at least have context for yet Mm -hmm. and it's almost like a doctor strange like seeing the future with like the group like the infinity stone thing where it's like yeah. does she know what's going on and she also understands the whispers way more than we do yeah um which is pretty clear by the well, way because the like, whispers are and talks around them they they control fate they made sure that it stays aligned like it's fixed so like right, for they, sure yeah like for with barrett barrett wasn't supposed to die so it saved them from sephiroth yeah sephiroth which is crazy so what's up thought, with sephiroth? also what's up died. with these weird guys in the black dude i don't fucking know i think i was just making sure if you if you knew what was going on with that because i don't i had no i saw that was like what the hell is that i think they're part of sephiroth's thing i don't know because remember they look like sephiroth but then one and then they turned into the cloak guy and they're numbered yeah so maybe what maybe sephiroth isn't alive and it's like each one is a, a part of Sephiroth, kind of like, for example, I think of Voldemort and his Horcruxes, like kind of like that. Interesting. Okay, they're all numbered, and they're all pieces of Sephiroth or something. Yeah. <clears throat> well, er, ac- mm. well, oh wait, no, never mind. I was about to bring up that we see them early in the game, but Tifa's taking care of them. Yeah, so T- I Tifa just assume she doesn't know what's going one, on, but I don't even know what happened to that one. Pain. Yeah, I, clearly we should have murdered him. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's, that's about it. I wanted to, uh, also, uh, one final, final note. <laughs> how, how are we getting the rest of these? Do you think this is some sort of trilogy? I don't Do you think, think we'll Square get Enix the next one? even knows. I don't even know. There's obviously not know. a lot of the game from the original, but now it seems like a completely original tale. I feel Other like than the original Final Fantasy We won't get the next one. Or at least hear about it for another two years. I think that's easy to say for sure. Um, but do you think we're getting three of these, four of these, mm. just one more? I think we'll. From from what they s- said before, it sounded like they wanted two, but I think we'll get three of them. I assume we're getting three at most four, but I think three is the sweet spot. It just is unfortunate that we have to wait so long <laughs> for the next one because it does feel. It did at the end of the day feel quick, and it did feel like some of it was padded. Yeah. Um, for time <laughs> definitely, but uh, I am excited for the next one. It did make a fan out of me. I love the material aspect and the and the weapon system, so I will mm-hmm. play the original and be ready for the next one when the next game comes out. Yeah. Um, and again, we I recommend it, and Alex says he recommends it, so go try it out. Um, obviously you've been this long, so you've played the damn game already. But if you yeah. haven't for some reason, go play it. Uh, so far, Alex, is this your game of the year? This is a, a, a ha huh, no. I think an interesting question. <laughs> I don't think it will uh, no. be mine either. But no, um, it's, it's it's one of those games that like, I had fun with, but it's not even on my top five. Whoa! Oh wow! Yeah, fucking shooting guns. Which All right. to All be right. fair, what actually? It's May second right now. I don't even know if yeah. I've played five games. 
many like have I even played five games? For I this have year? to go back <laughs> and think about it because it probably is on the top five because that's probably I have only played only five. Because you've only played five games from the from the release release of the year. Yeah, um, yeah. it's definitely. Uh, I would have to do the same. I would have to look over what technically yeah. came out this <clears throat> year and what facilitates the release year before I My Xbox uh, is on right mention now, so specific I things. Check. But I mean, Persona Five Royal, Royal is is. I, that, I, I that already count? prefer Has that over this, this year game. I mean, it counts for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, because I was gonna count it, but I didn't know if that would be count countable. I mean, it, it's my opinion. I don't give a shit what counts. Yeah. <laughs> I, for me, it counts. Um, I'll I'll fucking put on Witcher three if I want to. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got Doom Eternal, uh, Dark Siders Genesis. Oof, we shit, need, we Doom still need Eternal to go back so to that. Good. Yeah, we need to go back to Dark Siders. Oh. Uh. But yeah, this wouldn't be my game of the year. It would be it would be between Doom Eternal and Persona Five Royal. <laughs> I would have to beat Royal to really say. But Doom Eternal was masterclass for me. Mm. When was Outer Worlds? Was that this year? No, no, Outer Worlds. No, it was last year. Oh, might have been a year after that. Actually, I don't know. Actually, don't there's remember. there's been nothing. Everything else has been the holidays. That's, so like, I, that's why I thought it might have been an easy yes. But yeah. for me, it's not. No, it's it's, an, it's not my game of the year. Uh, no, if anything, I'll have to go Persona Five Royal. Right. So far, because I like Doom Eternal, but I I I lost interest. You suck, right? <laughs> you suck. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this has been your spoiler <laughs> cast, and it's just make. We hope you enjoyed it, and we hope you enjoyed it as much. We like talking to you. If you like us, please head over there at patreon.com slash easy achievers and give us a buck. Give us your exclusive every single month. If you like us even more than that, please, if it's financially uh, able to, support us even more. We will be adding more tiers, and we'll be changing up the tier system uh, very soon, so and be anticipated for that. Remember, you can post to our Patreon page for a guaranteed read on the show. <clears throat> Questions can also there and you can also tweet at us any questions comments concerns thoughts or ideas for the show remember we're here for you and also remember to go achieve go achieve